Morning everyone, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. Um, I've just been to the Salvation Army shop here in Alice Springs and I found really, really gorgeous things this morning, which I often, quite often do, but I really wanted to share this, in particular, this scrapbook um, kind of collector's item, I, I guess it would be, or a keepsake piece. Anyway, but I did find this box of Christmas cards, which I really liked. Um, bit of a holly botanical theme to these ones with the gold accents on those. They're not blank on the inside, but I figured, well, we can always put some paper over there or something like that to collage over it. So they'll be good for including in journals for Christmas. And this one with the gold foil writing on it is really nice. That's a Merry Christmas on the inside. So that's, well, it was a packet of 10 Christmas cards all together for a dollar with the envelopes as well. So I thought, well, stock up on those because they're a little bit different to the norm. Then I saw this scrapbook book and I saw the word scrapbook and I went, get out. What is this? So, and then I, so this was $3 and it's huge. It's like A3 size. It's, it's a big, big book. Anyway excuse the glare, what it's got in it. It's actually, um, it's a Victorian scrapbook, treasured possession of Miss Amelia Chapman, circulate 1800s, portrays a visual record of that era, contains exquisite black and white pen sketches depicting day-to-day -day activities, children at play, punch and duty shows, family, pets, and much more. Displays the use of decoupage um, by pasting down scraps, etc. So there's um, different images there. Then we've got full page images, which you won't be able to see all of them, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to give you a quick flip through. So these are things that I don't think I would actually cut it up. I would actually, no doubt, um, use them as like journal pages itself. So, because the images are really big and the pages are really big. So, but yeah, there's some beautiful things in here. And my friend Wendy will be, no, you can't use that book. You can't chop it up. I mean, look at this one with the butterflies. How gorgeous is that? And there's another one as well in the book. Um, but yeah, perfect for those vintage kind of journals. And you've got all these little, you know, you could fussy cut those out if you like. And then you've got full page scenes, more things to fussy cut, travel journal type things. The other page, oh, that's got lots of roses on it. That one there. Oh, Band of Hope review. Sorry, it's not really the best. Beautiful one with the horses. Beach scene. The other side with the butterflies and fruit. So pretty. We've got some deer. Christmassy themes. Kidlets, some florals, and then the back page, which is sort of like postcard style. So, yeah, I couldn't resist that for, oh, excuse me for knocking my frame. Uh, couldn't resist that for $3. So that was like just the best score ever. Totally stoked by that. The things you find. Then I found clothes, which I always tend to find. This is um, like a vest. It's that embroidered kind of embroidered feeling fabric so this is going to be perfect for asian fusion kind of journals as a cover so it's quite a big open piece at the back um it's just got two thin seams here but that can still be used for a journal cover or snippets etc and then these little um kind of like a clasp here they're fabric but they could always be cut off and, and used on a journal as well um, yeah, so I thought that was great. I had seen this piece before and then it was reduced to only $2, what was it? $2 or something like that. So I snapped that up because I am doing an Asian kind of journal at the moment, well, collecting for one. And then I'm with my peacock journal that I'm doing at the moment, but I have actually also got several other peacock kits that I can use. I found this um, skirt, which has got peacocks on the lining there which is lovely and then on the reverse fabric it's a beautiful emerald green just a floral um, pattern on there and then there is some decorative 
um, bits on this side. So some gold kind of, it is embroidered, I guess, feature through there. So that's that skirt. So two layers of fabric there. Lots of that to be used. And there's also a tie in that uh, green fabric too with the flowers. So lots of use out of that. I'm also collecting for an elephant journal. And bugger me, look what I find. A, it's a small, very small size dress, but it's got this band of elephants on it. Kind of an ethnic look to it. Um, that's the top. And the front of the dress also has this fine um, black lace that could be cut out and used as well for different things. And it's got a stretchy elastic band, which you know, possibly could be used as some kind of a tie or a closure for a journal as well. So I thought that was just perfect. So I snapped that dress up too. Then if only I was skinny, I'd be able to fit into these and actually wear them myself. Now these are, this is a dress, this one. Obviously if you're a skinny mini, so it's a, it's a um, strapless dress, but it's got this beautiful um, doodle mandala ish style um, gold design with the florals in the background if it's picking up it's not a heaps heaps shiny gold but um, I just really liked the pattern on it because I figured that could be used for many different styles of journals um, boho um, you know just general floral kind of journals and then there's the same fabric again in a different piece, which is like a, it must be like a wrap, a wrap for that dress over your shoulder type thing. So there's another straight piece, which is double sided um, there. So I've got a lot of fabric of that one, of that pattern. Then I love all these um, Indian kind of dresses or tunics. So this was $6, this one. Um, and it has the beautiful, um, bejeweled beading on the front and around the sleeve so these could be cut around and, and used for embellishments you know just gorgeous and the fabric itself there's a couple of things missing but you just pick and choose and then at the very bottom you've got this beautiful big wide sorry it's got a bit of weight to it beautiful beaded piece there and the inside lining is blue, chiffony type fabric. And the back of the dress is just with the plain gold, blue and gold. So there's a lot of beautiful fabrics, fabric there that I can use and the beaded elements and things like that. Um, yeah, so that was my haul for today. And I have literally got a whole plastic tub full of these beautiful kind of Indian um, tunic tops that I'm going to be chopping up some will go into my peacock journal and others will be kept for all the boho kind of journals that I'm going to make and I will also make some packs up of boho fabrics as well because I have more than enough that I can be putting them up for sale or sending in RAKs etc anyway so I just wanted to show you that haul there um and yeah so have a great weekend everybody happy crafting and um I look forward to finishing off my peacock journal this weekend if I can and getting that up um for you all to have a look at See you later. Bye.